Today is July 29th in 2020, and it's about 2.50 p.m. Mountain Time. I've been working on drawing up a diagram for you all on the Tiger Pump on a little bit better dimensions and specs. So I'm going to try to go through and explain real quick what and what might be a little a little bit through all the fittings. So you got the end cap, which is a two-inch fitting. I'm going to start with the PVC parts, and then for the top part, I got three pieces here. So I got the two inch by one and a half inch reducer coupling, which is the this piece right here. And then the next part is a bushing reducer about one and a half inch by one inch female threads. And then you screw in the next part, which is a, a one inch by three and a quarter inch. Um, the, the male threads with the, the female threads for three quarter inch. And then you put let's see here. Well, I might have got ahead. This is a I went ahead of the bush and reducer. And then you got this next reducer. So you go to one and a half inch reducer. And then a one and a half to one inch and then one inch to three quarter inch uh reducer and then you put the three quarter inch poly barb sorry about that part <laughs> so as you can tell for the copper line you know about either two 24 inch pieces or one 48 inch long piece and then you're gonna assemble the the little bubble one, the two nineties, the bubble one inside, and then you're gonna come up and you're gonna look for this fitting right here, which is a half inch copper with a female, and then you take a half inch threaded with a a barb, and uh, I don't have it in the list parts, all the clamps, just three quarter inch clamps and half inch clamps. And then right here for the airline, this one's a dual connection. If you had to hook up two air compressors that you don't know, have really strong ones, you got like a couple of them at home. And uh, then you just plug in right here on each side. This is the drain right here. The drain in. It's the can be compressed with a jug. Uh, if you don't have to have the jug, I'd still recommend a little funnel out. Um, but basically, you're gonna make what'll look like the air connection can go on it, and depending on how deep you go and what the gallon jug over it. It can help create, you know, a steady in close compression draft if I kind of got that understanding through English so I'll take one more few last part sorry it's a little bit windy last part is knowing how much pipe spool you're gonna need um, I'm recommending if you got a shallow water well, start off with 100 foot section. If it goes past 100 feet, just clamp it, hold it down, and go to 200 feet total or uh, another 50 foot section. And if it's right at 150 feet, then just get you another 100 foot section uh, to do 200 feet to work the whole system. And remember, you got to do it for your drain line and your air intake line so depending on how deep your water well is if you're just unsure just make sure you lock it down and also for every joint connection you're gonna want a three-quarter inch by three-quarter inch coupling barbs and the same thing for the the air line and also keep note in mind that both need to be equally as in length and the drain line can be slightly longer than the air intake line so that, that's 
once you get to the bottom of your water well and I recommend dropping it as far down as you can go but not all the way to the bottom just just enough to the point where you can start on the top of the mud and then work your way down to as far deep you can uh, bump a lot of the earth into the nozzle and get it to fall in there and be sucked in by all the bubbles and pushed out like how the original inventor about a hundred years ago that designed it I believe when I looked into airlift pumps it was originally a German inventor this is my uh, up to R par Lowe's and Home Depot type uh, plumbing fittings uh, technologies so that's where we're at I'm gonna show you the miter cuts now so right here for the the tiger cuts and the, the degrees of the miter and the tilt on the saw. This is a, a miter saw with the tilt degree and the miter degree on there. And so how, how did I get the markings on the Tiger pump? What I did was I went with about two inches apart from each other. And how did I get a one degree slope? So what I did was... If you look right here on my axe pump, I'm going to use it as an example. I got these markings and I went about two inches apart on a center top line and then I did it a third on on each angle of the pipe in a triangle. And what I did was I leveled it just top with a mark and you bring your miter saw down right center and go about an inch cut on each side. And that's how I got the miter connection. Hold on one second. So, and so when you come in on the pipe, you're gonna want to come in center on it. So. It, you're going to just hold it in center and then just come in down in on it and make your angle cut. Space on about two inches apart. And what I did was uh, I took an angle grinder and uh, I had took it and I just went around and just kind of peeled it back in order to help it when you move it up and down the pump to just kind of keep bumping it up and down and then just shift in the, the sediment and then uh next thing i you know it'll, it'll keep pulling it up so that that's pretty much the whole uh, part on how i got those cuts right here so And last, the tools you might need, my angle grinder that likes to go flying. So, <laughs> angle grinder with a Tiger Bomb disc. If you don't have a Tiger Bomb sanding wheel disc, you can use one of these, but just be careful. They do um, can tend to kind of crack it a little. It's a lot easier with a sand wheel disc. And then right here, you're gonna need some, a couple of pipe wrenches, your tape measure, of course a marker. With a tape measure, your bracing flux, the brush for the copper fittings and the brush for your flux. And this is what I used. I had used the, the the one that you can electric start, the propane, and I had heated up each poly tube to go around the barb and uh and then um put put your clamp on there and then when it cools down it just hardens around the barb and put your clamp on there and that'll kinda help with a seal. You don't really have to do it if you uh don't have hands like me that uh like have surgeries on them and stuff and you're having a hard time you know because you you can't grab and 
push it in there um that was the way i did it in order to get them on there for my uh problems with my hands so and of course a, a hacksaw you know and if you didn't want to use the hacksaw you can use your angle grinder with the cutting wheel disc on there so that's about wraps it up i i hope that i gave y'all a good idea that's where it all is right where that little cube of herb bags are that's right where my little water well is and i wanted to make a a covering for my water well and of course you know i had busted off the last one and disassembled it but i'm making a new cube covering for mine so good luck